Aside from the DOTR's Technical Working Group, or TWG, spearheading the study on the safety and effectivity of motorcycle taxis as a form of public transportation, other law enforcement agencies, or OLEAs, have been formed which include officers from the country's transport agencies and local police officers. Who they are and what they do is the center of this week's Motoring Forum. The transport agencies that make up the OLEAs include the LTO, the LTFRB, the MMDA, the PNPHPG, and Interagency Council for Traffic, or IAC. According to a release statement, the group was formed as part of the transport agency's continuous action to assure the smooth implementation of the extended pilot study for motorcycle taxis. Since it was formed, the OLEAs have already apprehended several motorcycles for hire that are illegally operating in Metro Manila. The OLEAs po, as you know, in other law enforcement agencies, sa mekanismo pong ginamit natin, ang una po dyan sa pagpaparistro natin para malaman natin kung partisipante sila. Kasi ang datos na kukunin natin, doon lang sa mga partisipante. Opo, yung binigay natin 45,000 na kung saan yung master list natin ay ibinigay na natin sa mga OLEAs, yun po doon natin titingnan kung may violation siya. Kaya ang request ko po sa OLEAs to indicate in their citation ticket na siya ay participant ng angkas, participant ng move it, doing a violation. So doon po namin, magagada ng mga datos na to pati kasama po dito ang naaksidente. Halimbawa po, may report si isang police station na may naaksidente ng ganitong rider, pupuntaan po yan ng aming mga OLEAs. Titingnan kong participante si naaksidente ng study, ano po, para yung po ang ating mga datos, mga informasyones na kukunin. As of the moment, only three motorcycle taxi transport network companies or TNCs are allowed to operate as part of the study. Angkas, Joyride, and Move It. Each company was required to submit a list of names of their riders. The remainder of those who won't complete the 15,000 rider cap will be given to another TNC, which the TWG calls redistribution. The new cap that we raise, kung maalala natin, we raise it to, in Metro Manila, 45,000. In Cebu, 9,000. Meaning to say, 3,000 each. In Cagayan de Oro, 3,000 each. So in Metro Manila, 45,000. So 15,000 each. We gave them a period to register their participants. For example, hindi na meet ni Move It yung 15,000. Hindi na meet ni Joyride yung 15,000. The difference there will can be taken advantage by the company na may available riders. Ang tawag po natin doon sa guideline na is redistribution. So yung remaining cap to meet that 45,000 will now be redistributed for those with ready riders. In the TWG's past press briefings, Chairman Antonio Guardiola has mentioned mystery passengers hired by the group. According to him, they will be regularly deployed to verify motorcycle classification and documents and check if riders are equipped with the proper safety gears as required. Titingnan nila kung participante, titingnan nila kung siya ay nagbabiolate ng traffic violation, kung nag-imbuelto siya sa aksidente, and most importantly, kung sumusunod siya sa mga safety gears. Iyon po, may mga survey form dyan, and of course, doon po ang pakiusap ko nga po sa OLEAS, yung kanilang mga apprehension indicate in their citation tickets that this particular violator is a participant of the study. The MDA was also recently tapped to apprehend these illegal drivers and those that are not included in the official master list given by the TWG. Hindi po namin binibigay yung master list sa mga enforcers on the ground. Ang may hawak lang po nito yung mga point person ng OLEAS, ng MMDA, ng LTO kasi naka-indicate po ko naman kasi doon yung mga personal data nila. The TWG chairman has also given a warning to Sampa Kandong and Isabay, some of the motorcycle taxi companies that are illegally operating and are not part of the study, that they could be blacklisted by the end of the study if caught with blatant violations. Colorum or unregistered riders and or motorcycle units are also operating alongside them. If blatant yung violations, talagang sadya na o talagang very obvious na masyado, by the end of the study, part of the report will be the blacklisting. Hindi lang po yung tungkol dito sa tatlong players natin. There are other motorcycle with apps operating already na hindi naman talaga kasama doon sa study. In fact, may nahuli na yung MMDA na sampa and we have the Isakai. Marami po kasi, actually, these are the applicants Mga nag-apply po to na maging participant dito sa studying ito. But then we just limited 
na three players muna para hindi magulo ang pagkuha natin ng mga datos. But then, nag-ooperate sila. So, itong mga nahuhuli, automatic color room na kagad sila. With these apprehensions, the other law enforcement agencies magsasubmit sa amin ng report. And then we will make a comprehensive report upon our study that these groups will be blacklisted. Furthermore, DOTR Secretary Arthur Tugade, as well as the TWG, likewise issued a stern warning for the three participating TNCs to strictly comply with safety protocols in serving the riding public. That was TWG on Motorcycle Taxi Chairman Antonio Guardiola, our guest this week on Modern Today's Motoring Forum, courtesy of Suzuki Philippines.